with July 21st, 2011. Welcome to my vlog. We had fun with the stove there yesterday. Fired everything up, everything worked awesome. Yeah, thumbs up. That thing just throw the heat. Oh yeah. It's been raining. Let me show you how much we got. Okay, that's like two days of rain. Hang on. I had to take these off your mount, right? But two days of rain, okay? gasoline two days of rain okay that's like a 45 gallon that's probably why it's not filling up to the top here it's cracked here but there's a good what there's a good two feet of water in there well tell you what where is that stick Sticks are really wet. <laughs> That's not going to work too good. Let's try it anyway. I need to keep my finger on the thing. You be the judge, you know. Sawder, so back on your perch. Yeah, it's um. It's definitely crazy, but I'm not going to complain because it's it's cool and, and raining, um, you know. Um, Adam in Nord Bay, um, you were saying that your midex was up to 30 plus, 36, 34, crazy. Um, we didn't come here, we didn't get no heat like that over here. My cousin actually in, uh, in, in Quebec. Uh, Natalie, uh, she was saying that her humidex was hitting 40, 45 degrees, or Celsius, rather. So, uh, man, that's hot. So that's why, like I said, I'm not complaining down here. Fine. It, it's what, this morning, uh, something like 18, 17, 18 degrees Celsius. So, hey, totally awesome. That's cool. You know, I can't complain. Because if you guys are cooking in in high humidex, um, man, come down here and spend a couple of weeks, you know. Come down here and cool off. So, what's going on today? Uh, today. Well, I gotta pick up this junk. Bloody pick up the yard. But, um... And I was going to mow some grass, or at that point, some hay, but uh, I do not dare cut it when it's wet, because it makes a mess. So, we're going to wait. Oh, there. Hang on. And we're back. Well, see if we can knock some of the dust off, dust off this machine, and... thinking air this is the Flotec submersible sump half horsepower and made in the US of A now we're gonna drop that in a fish tank <laughs> and um, I could just tip that over you know get back there I could just really, you know, just tip this over and, but, nah. I gotta clean up the pump. I'm gonna lay out this, uh, lay flat inch and a half or two inch. Load that into there. Close the, um, close the pegs, but I'll need two hands for that. 
And uh, let's get the show on the road. No, you don't. There. And right. Well, that works flawlessly. Yeah. Keep an eye on it. Good. Yeah. And the only thing I don't have on there is a foot valve. Hang on. Let's lift that valve a little bit. Comes back, yeah. Okay, I don't want to pick up too much because then you get into the leaves. Mess like that. <sighs> All right. That went almost too fast. So I'd rather give her another, another go at her. Last time I pumped this was back in a couple of years anyway. Just so I don't waste water. I'm just on guard here because uh, Quickly, you can get surprised with this. Um, figure this out. I should start any time, you know. I tie it with, um, with a string there, so uh, so I guess you could say I'm my uh, I'm my own fire department. <laughs> Not that I have anything against the fire department there, but uh, they are eight miles away. So and. Worst case scenario of what I um, expect to put out this, well, I don't have enough of 45 gallons, I just... Uh, he's back at it again. Drop it in the... Uh, drop it in the deep well. And I have another pump that fits in the, uh, in the deep well pipe. And from there to this, and from that to... Uh, to this, so that's why I got two barrels. So to work, yeah. Fair enough. I think I didn't hook up the other end. I think I'd have to hook it up to go out there with it and come back.
Well, at least it gets to uh, wash the uh, the hose and uh, I always like to check my fitness. Yeah, I thought it was uh, earlier I mentioned it was a lay flat. Actually, uh, it was a mistake. It's a gray flat. You see that's working flawlessly. And also at the same time, I could use uh, a couple of gallons of uh, a bleach in this. And pump that into the well out there. Or is it? Turn on the faucet there. Have that pumping in here. And that way there I could bleach my uh, entire well system that way too, by recycling the water back for, because when you have well you don't have control of what goes in there too much. leaving this stuff dry. I don't like to put it away wet. Yep, just love that. Goes well together. And this, I will put some chemicals in there. And I will cover it. I've got a cover for that. Somewhere, yeah, I do, somewhere, so. So that's it for today's video, um, shown today. Uh, if you have any comments, questions uh, regarding today's blog, uh, don't be shy, take a minute. If you're friends of the channel, uh, leave it in the comment and uh, or PM me and I'll be sure to reply. Thank you for watching.